I were the French army, I'd flank your left and collapse the whole brigade. Protect it with your cavalry. Good, good. Now, which regiment do you hold? It's ours, sir. Which? Who's ours? David. He's not one of your lieutenants. Well, the more he learns now, the better. Are you ready, dear? Shall we go? Yes, dear. Show Papa the picture you drew. <laughs> That's no uniform I know. <laughs> it's drawn you. Not in that uniform. It's no regiment I know. Study the uniforms, Harry. Troops were paraded and all was ready. You could see the Russian on the hilltops. He was waiting. We were waiting. It's that moment. Before the first shot, before the order to advance. In those hours, a man ages years. The minutes ooze by. Nonsense. It's a good time to study the terrain. See where the pits are, the rocks. And say your prayers. <laughs> I remember those moments of waiting at Sebastopol, how they broke a man down. Wilmington. Disgraceful coward. The man trembled all the while we waited, and then refused the order to advance. <laughs> refused. Ruined him, of course. Sneaked back to London like a whipped dog. All doors were closed to him. Finally had the decency to shoot himself. Mm. All this talk of cowards puts me off my port. <laughs> <laughs> Good port it is. Gentlemen, a toast <clears throat> to the general and to his hospitality. And to the youngest Favisham. May Harry serve his country as well as all the other Favishams before him. General? General Favisham Nimble. Harry that bloody saber is part of your arm if we ever see any action i'm going to be just behind you and let you clear a path for me i doubt if we'll ever see action what about egypt the dervish rebellion spreading do you smell that it's war man war is in the wind that's the stable jack <laughs> <laughs> no it's a peacetime career ahead that's why i'm resigning of course you are you're always bloody resigning. This time I am. I'll believe that when you go before the old general and tell him his son has decided to become a civilian. What? A Favisham a civilian? Unthinkable. Uniforms all wrong. I will, Jack. I'll do it this time. 
I'm getting married. Ethne? Yes. You've asked her, and she said yes. Yes, I thought she might have written to you. She intends to. Sorry. And you'll miss so much. I wish you both the very best. Thank you, Jack. Wait. The summer house. <laughs> you owe me a shilling. You said it wouldn't rain. A lady can be wrong. We could be trapped here all day. I'm not going to miss our engagement ball. My engagement present. Do you like it? Yes. Will your father be coming to give his blessing? No. You told him you're leaving the army. I wrote him. Harry! No, I'll see him when it's finished. So he can't. There'll be nothing he can do. I've told you. I'll be a soldier's wife. No. A regimental wedding. I'm finished with the regiment. Walking beneath an archway of swords. The officer and his lady. Can we stop talking about the army? I don't understand you, Harry. You're the best officer in the Royal North Surrey's. You and Jack Durrance. Let Jack lead the glorious charges. And now there's talk of war in Egypt. No, thank you. Not for me. I don't understand you. Then don't. Just love me. Jack! You're the first. Welcome. Hello. Always so punctual, these army chaps. Hmm. Been practicing for the country life. Dreadful long hours, Jack. Revali at noon. Then we have the inspection of the flowers, the fruit trees, the lawns, the checking of the wine cellar, the flogging of the servants, the exercising of the horses, the... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Colonel and Mrs. Eustace, I present my brother officers, Captain William Trench. How do you do? How do you do? Sir? Good And Mr. Thomas Willoughby. How do you do? Sir? How do you do? Oh, I'm both so splendid looking. I wanted Harry to wear his uniform just once more. Threatened him with close arrest, but it's no good threatening a civilian. Well, he isn't a civilian yet, sir. Harry, we must have a talk. Where's your fiancé, then, Harry? She's in the music room with some friends. Will you excuse us, please? Mrs. Eustace, sir? Go sure. on. Egypt, Harry, the Sudan. The North Surrey are almost certain to be called. My resignation becomes official tomorrow. We could be called out at any time. There are always rumors of war. You couldn't stay behind if we were called. Rumors, Tom. I'm not going to change my plans because of rumors in the mess. But it's in the bloody papers. These dervishes, they're fanatics. They're just spoiling for their holy war. I become a civilian tomorrow. Six months from now, you'll still be in England, grumbling, waiting for war to break out in the South Pole. Now come and drink and dance. Forget your soldiers for one night. That's easier for some. Oh, come on, Will. It's the man's engagement party. All right, Faversham. Leave me to the brandy. At the far table, quick march.
I'll see to these. Yes. View, Harry. Where's <laughs> all right? Yes. I can't find your Ethne. It's my dance with her. Come, come, Tom. We'll find her. Sergeant Major with him. Welcome back, sir. Gentlemen. Oh, carriage. Well done, Jack. Captain Trent, sir. Sergeant Major. I must inform you and the other officers, sir. You're reporting two days late. What? Regiment's been called, sir. Called? Well, then why weren't we informed? When were you knew where we were? He was all telegraphed, sir. We certainly were not. Better hurry, sir. Yes. Carry on, Sergeant Major. Sir! Egypt? Yes, sir. You hear that? Egypt! Faversham burned them. What? I saw Faversham burning several envelopes in the fireplace the night of the ball. They looked like telegrams. Oh, Harry. But why would he do it? So he could say he had no word of the alert. So he could leave the regiment. Well, he's dishonoured himself. And he's dishonoured the Royal North Surreys, damn it. What a low thing to do. Can you believe it? Coward! And I shall tell him so myself. Harry! Harry, have you heard? The North Surreys have been called to Egypt. Well, have you rejoined? Rejoined? I'm out of it forever. Well, 
I thought, and, and Father thought that you changed your mind now. Why? To go and fight the dervishes for the glory of the empire. To plant the flag in the Sudan. Don't make a joke about it, Harry. I want to be with you. Excuse me, Miss Ethley. There's been an urgent delivery for Mr. Faversham. A package. Where is it, cousin? On the table in the gallery, Miss Ethney. Thank you. We'll get it. What is it? They must take them back. For desertion in the face of the enemy. What enemy? We weren't at war when you resigned. Yes. During our party, telegrams came for all the officers present. I knew the regiment had been alerted. Did you? I burnt them so I could resign. I didn't want to go. You didn't want? As a soldier, you had no choice, Harry, no choice. I wanted to be with you. I told you I'll be a soldier's wife. No, I don't want that for us. You want? You want, can you only think of what Harry Fabersham wants? Please, Edna. And now you want, you want me to support you. I'm to turn my back on family, regiment, and country. What has that to do with us? It is us. It is. It's in our blood. It's what we are. And all alone, you, you decide to throw it all away. Not even a word. And then you live alone with that decision, Harry Fosham. in the North Surrey's. I thought we had no secrets. Would you wait over there, please? Go on, Get him. Get him, Good evening. 
will you be staying, sir? No, John. Is my father at home? Just back from the troop review, sir. Shall I tell him? No, thank you. Very good, sir. never tell if it's a slight draft or if it's my son opening that door. Now that you've sneaked in, you can sneak out. No need to bring me the news. You've resigned, and your regiment is off for Egypt. All London knows my humiliation. Leave me now. Father. It's not all. These. I deserve them. I knew about the alert before I resigned. I said nothing. You knew. You, you always knew. So why are you so surprised, Father, in beating about with your cane? You knew. You told me stories of cowards in battle. You knew those stories were my nightmares. You heard me crying up there, alone with my nightmares. Did you hear me? I would sink my teeth into the pillow to catch my cries. And still they came out, and you heard them. Didn't you? Oh, your voice. Oh, dear God. Out of my sight. You will not return to this house, ever. You will not return.
Good luck, my boy. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see me off. Look after yourself. to last me through Egypt. I care for you, Ethne. I always have. I love you. Harry is dead to me, Jack. But I feel like he's widow. I feel I should mourn him a while. And you should give me time. Will you write to me? Yes. I'll bring you back the head of a dervish, sir. Bring me a basket for Good luck. Good luck. Jack! Take care. Care! Let the dervish take care. Bravo! Finally, he had the decency to shoot himself. Down for Egypt. You are Abu Fatma. My name is Harry Faversham. I've been looking for you. Why? You know the people of the Sudan. You move among the Mahdi and his rebels. I want to be able to move freely among them. Sit. Why have you chosen me for your 
education, Mr. Fabishan. You scout for the British, I've seen you. You bring information to the officers of the North Service. I've been watching you for many weeks. I want to serve with you. This Mahdi came to me three years ago. He wanted my people to fight with him. I told him to leave us in peace. And for this refusal, he took my hand. But I have another. And with this, I wage my humble war against the pretender who calls himself Mahdi. Now, Englishman, why do you make war? Why? Because I've been a coward. At least an honest coward, Mr. Feversham. What do you intend to do? Make three of my brother officers. Take back these. But there are four. May I serve with you? army is reported on the march near Tokar. Before we can fight them, we must find them. This we intend to do. Reconnaissance groups of horse, camel and foot contingents will move out in six hours. The Royal North Surrey Regiment will provide infantry columns to probe the plains west of the mountains. Gentlemen, good hunting. Order for the men to drink. No. But it's been hours. Steady. Let's see if we have news of the well. Straighten out a bit. I feel as if I'm melting. Just don't fall off your horse. Looks damned undignified. I'm afraid the well is dry, sir. Then there's no point in marching to it, is there? No, sir. I thought the same. Any sign of the enemy? Not a sign. Stop. Very well. We'll camp here. Let the native scouts know, Sergeant Major. Sir. Sergeant Major says we'll camp here for the night. Tomorrow you'll lead us to the next well. Very well. Will he fortify the camp? Only with brush. They're too hot and tired to dig a trench. And Jack will let them rest. But he will send out patrols. Guards will be posted, but only inside the brush. Then we will move to higher ground. 
there. Well, we may better watch over your friend. He won't need much watching tonight. No sign of the dervishes. You have still much to learn, Mr. Feversham. Do you hear that? Pardon, sir. surrounding the British. They will close the circle slowly. towards the garrison. There will be a mounted patrol. Look for their dust in the sky. Bring them. I will warn the British. Abu! I must warn my friend. You will have to ride through the dervish, Mr. Feversham. Yes. Wait for it.
Dead, Jack. Who are you? It's me, Harry. Am I dead? No, Jack. Why have you come here? To help you somehow. So I could give you this. Yes, I take it back. Leave it. No, I want to see you. They're burnt, Jack. Let them heal. <sighs> Will I see you again, Harry? Let them heal. The North Saris fought well. Did the dervish take the colors? They killed everyone, Jack. Fifty men and lost hundreds themselves. Did they take the colors? Yes, they took the bloody flag. We'll get it back. You'll go to England. You'll take the feather. Yes, I'll keep it. Now, take it to Ethne. give each one of them back. And one day, hers too. Listen. The relief column. Jack, call to them when they're close by. And you? Let me stay just... A shadow, Jack. Except to you. And to Ethne. Harry? About Ethne. Harry? Harry?
And now I know not what to say to you. Father is trying to sway Parliament towards an all-out campaign to retake the Sudan. I'm sure he fancies himself leading it on a great white horse with you at his side. I'm against it, for I want you home, Jack, so that I can repeat the following in person. Yes. Oh, yes, I will be your wife. I put all indecision behind me, all doubts, all of my past, all of my ghosts. Finish with your dervish and your glory, and come home to England and to Ethne. We wait to welcome you. With all my love, Ethne. formed a somewhat hasty line, volley fire, and they came at us through the smoke, screaming. We formed a square. I saw at least two of them go down and rise up again. Couldn't stop. Enough. There must be talk of war. They ran for the rocks. Flying column. Bayonets fixed. And I was the lucky one. I was shot. Fell among the boulders, hidden, unconscious. I was the lucky one. Three steps. Was that a shooting star? I didn't see it. Sometimes I see light. They tell me it's only memory, phantom light. I really believe I see it. Perhaps there's still a chance then. Yes. Ethne, your letter caught up with me in a field hospital on the Nile. A nurse read it to me letter where you agreed to be my wife. A nurse? I hope she gave it the proper feeling. You wrote it to a different man. Jack, don't. A whole man. I don't hold you to that letter. No letter holds me, Jack. My feelings hold me. You should run from me. I did run once for a man who loved me and needed me. I failed him. Now life has given me another chance. I want this chance. And I want you. Officer's coming. If he deserts the Mardi, then we've broken the dervish grip on this territory. Or so I'm told. Do you trust him? Well, he's come to talk on our ground. This isn't exactly our ground. We're far outside the zone. Yes, the meeting place wasn't my idea, but you know the Colonel as well as I do. There's nowhere in the Empire the Queen's uniform can't go. Information must have been correct. Yes, it's going to be today. I hope your friend realizes the danger he is in.
Miss Eustace, I was your guest here almost a year ago. Yes. Well, you may dance. It's still another of my engagement parties. Captain Durrance and I are to be married. Though we've not yet set a date. Jack Durrance? I didn't realize. I've just arrived from Cairo. If you'd hoped to find Jack here, I'm afraid he's back in London. I've come to see you, actually. And to deliver this. How did you come by that? From him. He turned up in Suakin, of all places, risked his life to save mine. I thought he should be decorated, but he said, just take back your damn feather and deliver it to Ethne. She knows. I know. He means to give them all back. All three. Four. You wouldn't recognize him. I took him for a native. He's... I'm sorry. Shall I leave him? Did he say anything else? No. Something. I saw him for just a few moments. He's gone to find Trench, and Trench is a prisoner in Omdurman. Omdurman? It's in the very heart of the Dervish Empire. Just getting there will be a miracle. I told him, but... Well, I'll be leaving now. Yes. Thank you, Captain. You'll be seeing Jack in London? Yes. Don't speak of Harry Feversham. 
please. Goodbye, then. So he's, uh, so he's after regaining his honor, his name, and still a spark in him. He's still a Fabersham. Stop it, please. He's a, a tormented man. We drove him away. I doubt if a woman could understand. Please, General. He came to each of us and we, we sent him away, closed our doors to him. His father, a woman he loved. It is our shame, not his. He was a soldier, and there is a soldier's code. Is there a father's code? Aren't we by this shrub, Roses? Yes. They must be finished. Well, listen to that. It's been a good while since she played. Will you excuse me? Can I help you? No, thank you. It's been a long time since you've played. Yes. My finger's a bit stiff. It's lovely. Go on. I'll sit here. I, uh, I hear a, a captain of your regiment is back in London. Willoughby. Yes, I met him. Did he have any news? News? No. Oh, yes, yes, poor Trench. The prisoner in Omdurman. Probably dead by now. Is that a terrible place, Omdurman? A nightmare, so I'm told. Play, isn't it? Yes. While you were in uh, Suakin, did ever... Did you ever hear word of Harry Feversham? I, uh, I hear he may have gone to Egypt. No, I never saw him. Out of the line there and go down that alley. Yes, there will be horses at the end of the street, tools to break up chains, and guns at the oasis of Shendi. One day's ride. So all that's left is for me to be arrested. I hope I shall see you again, Abu Fatma. I'll be waiting at the end of the street. It's a sure. Cut 
Sleep yet, Harry? I want to hear it again. Tell me again. On the march back from work, I'll show you the hour today. In six days, we'll slip out of the line somehow and work our way down the alley. My friend will be waiting there. Did you trust him? As I trust myself. If he's not there, they'll catch us and they'll send us back here. And I don't think I could stand up anymore. I've been standing up for seven months, Harry. I'm so sorry. Let me 
further to the oasis. Another eight hours, if they don't catch us, Mr. Trench.
отмывать мы. Гон! Гон! They catch us, Harry. You must kill me. Monk. You must. Monk. Be free, Harry.
No, I'm good. You read me the news. Very well, sir. What do we have, sir? Traces. Here's a dispatch from the Sudan, sir. Good. It's Captain Trench, sir. Bill? What does it say? Captain William Trench of the Royal North Surrey Regiment arrived March 2nd in Cairo after his recent escape from the Dervish prison at Omdurman. Bravo, Trench. He was aided in his escape by a civilian, an Englishman, who entered the prison in order to free the officer. The man was identified as... Harry Feathersham. Formerly an officer in the Royal North Surrey. How did you know, sir? are gone now, Harry. All but one. Pardon, sir? Is there anything else, sir? Just that the men are returning to London, sir. The dispatch is a week old. I want to see you. Sir? I was supposed to meet Miss Eustace today. Yes, sir. Get word to her that... I would like her to come here, to visit me here. I'm going now, sir. Yes. It's her, sir. What's she wearing? A purple dress, sir. Silk, I think. A hat? Purple, sir. Is everything in its place? Yes, sir. Leave now, Wilma. Sir. Let me guess. It's the girl from the laundry. I can't fool a fine gentleman like yourself, sir. And why didn't you come and meet me in the gardens? Where's Wimble? Wimble is out. I function very well on my own now, dear lady. And that's part of my news. News? Stand here in the window light. What is it? of your dress. It's very dim, but I do see it. It is purple, isn't it? Jack, that's wonderful. I've known for days, uh, but I had to be sure. I've been consulting with Parker and the German specialist. And? <clears throat> I'm going away. Germany long series of treatments and operations. Jack, what you... You have been a great treasure to me, Ethne. But, but I have to chase this possibility. Maybe chasing it for years. And it's going to take over my life for a while. It's best that I remain free. I shall...
should never have committed us to the marriage. Are you sure? I believe that it is best for both of us. So soon. Come and see me off. I wouldn't be able to see all this again. Now, please, back to the park. Walk among the gardens in your purple dress. And I'll think of you there. I'll see you there. General in his study? Yes, sir. Shall I tell him? No, thank you. Expected me to be waiting at the front entrance, waving an embrace, I suppose. No, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Well, you did do wrong by the name you carry. That's a fact. But uh, I believe you have redeemed yourself, and I forgive you. I haven't come to be forgiven. What is it then? Praise. I'll not praise you for behaving like a soldier that was expected from the start. Not praise, either. Praise for what? For risking a life that wasn't worth keeping. No, I came to see you, Father. To look at you. To find out what I feel. What do you feel? All the terror of you is gone. There's not much else between us, is there? There never was. You were born to a soldier. Cry about it if you wish. Well, 
we're going to offer you a commission. In the North Surrey, the captain said. I refused. My sons and daughters will not be born to a soldier. Goodbye, sir. This is your house. Is it? Yes, by God. Been empty as death for a long time now. Perhaps. Perhaps we'll get to know each other now. Excuse me, Miss Ethne, there's a gentleman. Captain Trench. Yes. Well, give it to me. I thought he had come. He has. He told me to tell you we'll wait for a while in the summer house. If you don't come, well, he'll understand. I know you never wanted to see me again. But I had to give you this. Oh, Harry. Oh, you can't give it to her. Because she isn't here. That awful girl who gave you the white feather. 